come upon you. You shall be my witnesses in California, Atlanta, New York City, Texas, everywhere around America. Catch the fire. Catch the fire. There's an angel moving here. power ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you you shall be my witnesses in California Atlanta New York City Texas everywhere around America catch the fire catch the fire there's an angel moving here power. Power, ye shall receive power 
after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, you shall be my witnesses in California, Atlanta, New York City, Texas, everywhere around America. Catch the fire. Catch the fire. There's an angel moving here. power power ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you you shall be my witnesses in California Atlanta New York City Texas everywhere around America catch the fire catch the fire there's an angel moving here power. Power, ye shall receive power 
after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, you shall be my witnesses in California, Atlanta, New York City, Texas, everywhere around America. Catch the fire. Catch the fire. There's an angel moving here. power power ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you you shall be my witnesses in California Atlanta New York City Texas everywhere around America catch the fire catch the fire there's an angel moving here Nobody great, nobody great, nobody greater than you. Nobody great, nobody strong, nobody wise, nobody on the same level. See, there's nobody like our God. Nobody. 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 You can search here and there, everywhere. You will not find anybody like our God. Hallelujah. I'm just so glad that he loves us so much, unconditionally. Even in our mess, he loves us unconditionally. That's why there's nobody like us, unconditionally. Him. He paid the ultimate price for us, knowing that we were gonna mess up. Knowing that we were gonna miss the mark. Nobody like our God. Hallelujah, and I just thank him, and I honor him, and I'll forever worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, our Lord. How excellent is your name. Your name is strength. Your name is power. A strong tower makes me say, Oh Lord. How excellent is your name. Your name is strength. Your name 
name is power. A strong tower makes me say, There's nobody like you, love. Hey, everybody say, oh.
personal. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody loves me like you do. Nobody understands me like you do. Nobody cares for me like you do. Nobody provides for me like you do. Lord, we came tonight to magnify you. We came to glorify you. For you alone are worthy, God. For you alone are worthy, God. We submit our lives to you on tonight. Your will. How many are in a place where they're saying, Lord, whatever you want to do with me in this season, I'm okay with it. Whatever you want to do, I'm a vessel for you tonight. Hallelujah. Come on and just give him a praise once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. For his name is above all names. His name is truly above all names. It's not Muhammad. It's not Buddha. One thing I love about serving a God that we serve, we are able to see the miracles and signs and wonders of the God that we serve. For his name is above all names, hallelujah. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. Is that your testimony? I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Come on, sing it with me. Nobody great, nobody great. Nobody greater than you. Come on, can we sing it again? Said I searched all over, searched all over. Still couldn't find. I even looked high and low. I still couldn't find. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Come on, let's fill the room. Nobody greater, yeah. Come on, can we sing it one more again? Yeah, I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I'm telling you, I looked high and low. I still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, no yeah, nobody greater than you. Come on, let's clap it up right here. Oh, yeah. I searched all over. I searched all over. I couldn't find nobody. I even looked tiny low. Still couldn't find nobody. Come on, nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. No more. Yes. Nobody greater than you. Come on, let's fill the room tonight. Let's go to the next part. Oh, your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty God, the works of your hand. Mighty God, the words of your hand. Come on, let's testify. Your name, your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty God, the words of your hand. Come on, let's say it. Mighty God, the words of your hand. Come on again. Your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy 
a bone of praise. Come on and say it. Mighty God, the works of your hands. I feel this thing. Mighty God, the works of your hands. Come on, declare it. Come on, declare it. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Lord, you're mighty, 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 mighty. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is he awesome on tonight? Come on and say it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome, awesome, Let's get the music. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, 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 mighty. Oh, mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, 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 mighty. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Lord, you're awesome. Come on and say it. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, Lord, you're mighty, yes, you are. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Yes, you are, Lord. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, 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 mighty. I searched the couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. I still couldn't find nobody. Come on, let's lift it up. No. Let's testify tonight. Nobody. Come on, let's sing it one last time. I searched all over, searched all over. Couldn't find. Said I look tired, you know. Let me hear you say it. Nobody greater. Come on, lift it up in the room. Nobody greater. Nobody does the miracles that you do. So we come to magnify you, Lord. We come to glorify you. We come to lift the holy and true and living King. Nobody greater. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. One last time before I go, let's sing it. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty God, the words of your hands. Shanda the rock. Mighty God, the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Oh, mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Oh, you're mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty, 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 One last time. Mighty, mighty. If you believe in that, praise him right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
You deserve it. You deserve it. Worthy is your name.
Somebody put their hands together for the King of Kings. You can clap the Lord better than that kingdom embassy. Oh, lift your voice and shout the highest praise. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Come on, shout the highest praise. All over this room, lift up your voice. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise in the house tonight. Open up your mouth and worship him. Lift your voice unto the King of Kings. Somebody magnify the name of Jesus. Somebody exalt the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, where are the worshipers in the house tonight? Could you lift your voice? Could you lift your voice? Give him a praise in the house. Oh, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He is the same forever. Oh, somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, I can't hear you in the house. Somebody lift your voice unto him. Somebody lift your hands to him. Oh, just begin to thank him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, begin to thank him that you're not a statistic. <laughs> you are a victor. Hallelujah. Yes. You are victorious. victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody begin to thank him thank you, God. that he always shows up for thank you. you God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. In spite of what you have done. Hallelujah. Hey. Jesus shows up. Jesus. In spite of my circumstance, Jesus. in spite of my situation, Jesus. in spite of my weaknesses, Hallelujah. my faults and my failures, yes. he still is in love with me. Still. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. He loves me just the same. Thank you, God. Oh, I wish I had a witness in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody should turn to their neighbor and say, he loves me like that. He loves me like that. Oh, hallelujah. He loves me like that. He loves, loves me, me like, like that. Oh, I don't have to pretend. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't have to be somebody else. He loves me like that. He loves me like that. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Whether I'm down or whether I'm up. Hallelujah. Yes, if I've got money in my bank account uh -huh. or I don't, Jesus loves me just the just same. Like that. Hallelujah. Oh, I wish I had a church tonight. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. He loves me like that. He loves me like that. Oh, Jesus. He loves me like that. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. So excuse me. I've got to praise him. Oh, hallelujah. You see, I know who I am. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't know about you, but I know who I am. I know the things that I've done. I do not deserve his grace and his mercies. But he loves me like that. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. I don't know if you're here tonight, but he loves me just like that. Oh, hallelujah, church. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah now. Yeah. Oh, glory to him. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. I think I have worshipers in the back. I don't know about these ones in the front. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, glory to God. I, I, I have to boast about him. Because I know who I am. I have to boast about his goodness. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, I have to boast on how good Jesus is. His mercies. Hallelujah. 
Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. You see, the reason is because favor is not fair. Hallelujah. I hope you're listening to me. Favor is not fair. Hallelujah. Favor can jump this row. Hallelujah. And hit the row all the way in the back. Hallelujah. How oh, glory to God. So whilst you're in your seat, you should be praising him. Hallelujah. You should be glorifying his name. You should be lifting him up. Because favor is not fair. Yes, sir. Favor can hit you at the back. Yeah. It can hit you in the oh, yeah. middle. It can locate you wherever you are. Yes, the sir. favor of God is not fair. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It does not discriminate. Hallelujah. It does not even choose. Amen. It just falls upon who he decides to favor. Amen. Favor is not fair. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I wish I had a witness in the house hallelujah. that has experienced God's favor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, favor, favor is not even about your response. Hallelujah. It's not even about what you say. You see, God just decides to favor you. You don't have to do anything to receive the favor of God. Hallelujah. You don't have to dress up. You don't have to go on a day of fast or even 40 days of fast. You don't even have to pray. His favor just locates you. Why? Because he loves you just like that. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. I hope you're catching what I'm saying tonight. He loves you just like that. Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Oh, glory to God. In the book of Luke uh -huh. and the first chapter, I taught on it on Sunday. Two persons experiencing the same angel, Zachariah and Mary. I'm talking about favor not being fair. Two persons having an encounter with the same angel. It's in the Bible. Luke chapter 1. The angel of the Lord Gabriel went to Zechariah and began to declare unto him what will happen. How oh, his wife will bring forth a child and they shall call him John. The same angel went to Mary and say rejoice for the Lord is with you you are blessed and highly favored hallelujah somebody oh glory to God hallelujah but one received the word much better than the other as a matter of fact the both of them said the same thing Zachariah said how can this thing be Mary also said the same thing but the angel cursed Zachariah but favored Mary same angel same message same dispensation hallelujah but different outcome favor is not fair I hope you're in the house tonight God's getting ready to favor you yes. hallelujah you thought that your brother was better than you or your sister was better than you but i've got news for you tonight the favor of god is coming to you the favor of god is hitting you tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah david was not even there hallelujah when samuel showed up at his father's house he yes. was in the field uh -huh. taking care of his father's sheep. Yes. But when favor began to locate favor. him, he was taken from the back uh -huh. to the front. Uh -huh. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, Amen. but favor will locate you. If you are at the back, favor will move you to the front. To the front. Favor will locate you and cause you to be elevated. Amen. 
cause you to be promoted. Oh, I wish I had somebody that would receive this tonight. I receive. Oh. I receive. They will find you. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory. I feel like we're having church now. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, I feel like we're inside of church now. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, somebody needs to praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody better worship him. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Favor is not fair. Because he loves me like that. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I hope you remember this. Let's get ready to connect to the grace, the anointing, and the favor that's upon this house. Hallelujah. Quickly grab your offerings, your sacrifice, that which you have brought to the house to give unto God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to give in multiples of your favorite number. You know what your favorite number is. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My favorite number is seven. Yes, it is. I don't know what yours is. It can be two. It can be four. It can be five. We're giving in multiples of our favorite number. And we are believing God for his favor. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. And with favor, you don't have to work for it. Hallelujah. What took others 10 years, hallelujah. With favor, it'll take you a month, hallelujah. What took others in your family years to get there, with God's favor, it will take you no time. Oh, glory to God. I wish I had somebody that would believe this tonight. So if your favorite number is eight, double it. If it's nine, double it. Whatever your favorite number is, lift your offering quickly all over the room. If you're watching online, the giving information should be on your screen now. Quickly go to our Kingdom Embassy details, PayPal, Kingdom Embassy Inc. Cash app, the dollar sign, Kingdom Embassy Inc. You can go to our website, www.kingdomembassychurch.com. You can also write a check to us at Kingdom Embassy Church. And if your method of giving is by Zelle, you can use this number 301-503-7144. Lift your offerings and lift up a prayer unto him. Every person in the room begin to open your mouths, make declarations, make prayers now. Father, I thank you for favor. Hallelujah. Supernatural and uncommon favor. Father, favor that caused acceleration and speed. Favor that causes your people to be shifted, to be lifted, to be elevated, hallelujah, to another dimension in the realms of the spirit. I'm talking about favor that opened doors, hallelujah. Favor that connects you to the best connection. Favor that gives you the ability to sign contracts and tenders. Hallelujah. Favor that breaks protocols and rules on your behalf. Father, would you release favor? Oh, hallelujah. Over your children tonight. That as they connect, Lord, heaven will open. Heaven will come in alignment, hallelujah, with their offering. And produce results in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody declare it now. Somebody receive it now. Receive. Somebody shout amen. 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 Oh, shout amen again. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Quickly rush down to the altar and place your offerings here as the worship team gives us a song. I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. You are so faithful to me. I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. Faithful you are and faithful you be. Yeah. Come on, help me right here. I call, I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. You 
Take your seats in the house. Blessings and welcome to Kingdom Embassy Church. How's everybody doing tonight? Are you blessed? Are you favored tonight? Hallelujah. Welcome into the house. We are so happy to have you here. And God bless everyone who's watching us online as well. We welcome you into the house. God bless you. Please share the broadcast. Let everyone know we are live. We have Kingdom Embassy Church branches all around the world, and we are so blessed to be here in the headquarters in Maryland having our Thursday night prophetic service. Amen? It's a prophetic service tonight, so we are excited. Uh, can I see by a show of hands anyone here for the first time? We always love to welcome our newcomers. Amen. You were so excited. God bless you. Thank you so much. And on this side, in the front row, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we have an amazing service in store. You are in the right place. So God bless you and welcome into the house. Uh, please make sure that you uh, uh, visit our ladies in the guest relations table uh, before you go. They want to get to know you more. If you're traveling or if you visited us and you want to know what's happening around the area or what we're doing here, uh, you can connect with them and we would love to get to know you. Bless you. Welcome into the house. Let's give them one more round of applause. God bless you. So here at Kingdom Embassy, the visionaries of this house is Prophet Passion and Prophet is Lily Java. Amen? The man and woman of God. If you could stand and honor them, Prophet Passion and Prophet is Lily. Amen? We truly honor the Prophet and Prophetess of God. We honor the grace uh, that is upon their life. Amen? You may take your seats in the house. Thank you for truly honoring them. Uh, everything that we do here in the house is uh, with a bigger vision, amen? And as they have founded this church, Kingdom Embassy Church, uh, we have a vision that says we are a people of prayer, amen? And we are preparing the world for the second coming of Jesus Christ. There is so much to prepare for, amen? And so we as a body, we come together, we make sure that we are praying together, we are supporting one another, uh, and we do that within, of course, our church family and our different serving departments, and we're always making sure to connect with the spirit of God that is in this place. So if you wanna join us in the vision, and if you want to pray with us, we're always meeting on Zoom every week, and we make sure we tell you this every single week because it's open to everyone, amen? So the prayer team, Team is always always praying and we are uh, able to join together on zoom so if you want to connect with that prayer line you can again visit our guest relations table uh, there in the lobby and you can connect with us on our whatsapp and we'll be sending you those links so connect with us as soon as you can now, we want to let you know that normally we will be having a Delaware service, but this week uh, we won't be having Delaware because we have a Hava Women on Saturday. Right, ladies? Uh, ladies, this is going to be so exciting. Ahava women, we're having a worship night, okay? So if, we're, if you're truly wanting to just connect back with God, if you've been feeling uh, like your relationship has been strained, you know, you really haven't been able to spend time with God, uh, come and just rest in his presence, amen? We're going to worship together and we're going to celebrate together. It's going to be an amazing night. So let your friends and family know, ladies, that we will be here on Saturday. Uh, but there is, oh, and again, you can register on ahavawomen.com, so we know that you'll be here, uh, and we'll send you the link. If you can't join us here in person, if you're uh, somewhere else around the world, please register. We'll still send you that link and let you know that we are live. Uh, but like I said, with our Delaware service, we won't be having service this week, but there's something very special happening in Delaware very soon, uh, but I'll get to it in a minute. I will share with you. Uh, but there are some other things we have. Uh, we are having a foundation class on June 12th. Um, so as most of you know, we have been getting together every Monday, and we're talking about Kingdom Embassy. Amen? And this is the culture of the church. We're talking about evangelism, baptism. We're understanding deliverance. We're understanding tongues, and we're really getting to the foundation 
foundation, amen, of the church and what it's all built upon. So if you want to know more about that and learn from, uh, from Apostle Innocent Java, he has been giving us so much wisdom, amen. And uh, we truly honor the Apostle of Solutions. Uh, we are so excited for uh, this opportunity. So make sure you register. Even if you weren't able to join us for our other sessions, uh, we can send you those recordings and those links and you can just get plugged right in. So make sure you go to kingdomembassychurch.com to register for that. And we are excited to announce on June 21st, we will be having a Houston prophetic conference, all right? Now this is with Prophet Passion Java and Apostle Innocent Java, amen? Uh, so it's going to be powerful. It's so exciting. We're going to be having, again, the prophetic conference. So, of course, we will also be having a prophetic school at 10 a.m. So Houston, Texas is going to be powerful. If you want to join us, make sure you register right away. Uh, the, the place is already packed with so many that are excited about the move of God. Amen. So this is going to be the first prophetic conference in Houston. So you don't want to miss it. Okay. June 21st. That's when we will be there. Again, 10 a.m. is our prophetic school. And the prophetic service will be at 6 p.m. And this is going to be on ProfitPassion.com if you want to register for the school. And again, the conference is free. So we'll continue to remind you about this. And uh, you can share it. It's all on our social media. So you can share that flyer. Let everybody know what's happening. We are excited for this conference. Amen. So we'll see you there, right? Hallelujah. And again, Ahava Women, we're going to be joining together. We have many other events that are coming up, so make sure you register on ahavawomen.com to be a member. You're registering so that you get to know everything that's happening uh, with Ahava Women. Now, like I said, I would tell you about what's happening in Delaware. So Delaware, you're about to experience healing and a deliverance, okay? <laughs> Prophetess Lily Java is coming for a healing and deliverance conference, all right? We're, we're beyond excited about this. It's going to be August 18th.
would love for you to connect it with. And uh, there's so much more that you'll see in the store, but be sure to browse before you leave and be able to uh, purchase something to be a blessing, of course, into your life. But if you would like to purchase something for someone else and be a blessing to them, we are, um, uh, everything that you're purchasing goes back into the ministry uh, to support the work of God. Amen? So we are very blessed to have all of those opportunities there. And on our websites, you can, again, connect with any of the events that we have going on. And of course, follow us on all of our social media uh, to, to stay plugged in daily with what's happening. And you can always tag us and post uh, on, on all of those events that we have. Amen. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> but we're truly blessed to connect with this. So if we could all stand right now in this time. If we could stand, this is a time right now where we begin to prepare for the man of God to come. Amen. It's a time where we can energize our spirits. We're making sure that we're aligned with uh, the spirit of God. And there is a healing that's going to move. Amen. There is a move of God that is here. Uh, so whatever it is that you're believing for, whatever it is that you came in expectancy for, just begin to speak it out right now. Just begin to use this time to connect with the Lord. Amen. Jakaya bazindi amasanta laboshate. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jebedi Abayanda Rebo Sateya. Roko Shiki Ama Santa Labo Shanda Ya. Alumbo Ndeya Barobo Sete Ama Shinti Yamanda. Just begin to speak to the Lord. Jeke Ama Zindi Ama Santa. Loko Rebidi Banda Labo Sante. Thank you, Father. Mejende Azanda Labo Sati Yamanda. Thank you, Lord. Rekete Ababa Baba Shanta Labo Sate. Roko shiki amazanda la rebo sateya lembende ya baraba jandi akaya alambanzo ya bashinti ya masonto lo boshati ya manza ekere de boshandi ya masanta rombondi ya baba basandi ya bashanta just lift your voices reke ya kasonto lo boshati ya masanta rombondi Begin to recognize the spirit of God here. Oh Lord, open our eyes tonight. Oh Lord, open our eyes tonight. To recognize your spirit. Manda la bosa tia manda, roko sheke ya masanta la bosa taya, arumbon de ye manda ya bashata la masini, ye kete ya baba baba come on lift your voices, rembende ya baba baba shandi ya masanta, roko siki ya make it personal right now, leke ya baribi di boshanda na na masanta. Oh yes, Lord. Romondi ama mama shanta ya kasaya. Oh, we glorify you, Lord. Rebe be 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 ushandi ama santa. Moziti amanda rebe ushati ya. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit, take over. Reke ya kashondo rebe ushati ya. Mozini ne na mashanda rebe ushati ya. Have your way, Lord. Rebe ne ya ba 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 ushati ya. Have your way, Lord. Rebe be 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 san. Jeke ya baba busati ya, ore kete ya majiti ya manda na 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 ya, ore bedi ya baba baba santa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jeke ya baba baba busati. Jubori de de busati ya baba busati. Bebe de bebe de bebe. Jeke ya. You hold my hand.
something tonight the Lord knows amen as you lift your hands what your request is see prophecy is an answer to prayer amen so that thing that you've been thinking about that you've been praying about the Lord hears you amen and as you surrender to him things begin to change because it's a matter of the heart hallelujah so I want you really to understand that this time is sensitive. So as we're worshiping, as we're singing, it's a time of surrender. Hallelujah. In believing that the Lord will do what he said he will do. Hallelujah. We believe you, Lord. We believe in your word. We believe that you are moving in this place. Everything to the feet. 
Jesus, everything in the name of Jesus. This is the house of miracles. Come alive, come alive, say, come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come on, speak to that thing and say, we bring everything, say, everything in the name of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house. Come on, speak to that death thing and tell it to rise and take. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Because this is a house. The house of miracles. We bring everything, say. Everything. Come on, submit it at his feet and believe that what he said, he will do it. This is a house of miracles. This is a house of testimonies. We bring everything, everything to the feet of Jesus. Jesus. Everything in the name of this Jesus. This is a house of miracles. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is the house of miracles. We bring everything, everything. To the feet of Jesus, everything in the name of Jesus. This is the house of miracles. Come alive, say, come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is the house of miracles. We bring everything, everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. And I believe you're the wonder-working God. You're the wonder-working God. Have you seen miracles? Have you seen signs and wonders? Do you know that he can do it for you? Oh, am I speaking to somebody right now? Do you know he can do it for you? Hallelujah. This is a heart of miracles. Say, come on
Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. Tonight, you're going to see a miracle. I receive. Tonight, you shall receive your miracle. I receive. Amen. Before I go any further, I want to give honor to our spiritual parents, Prophet Passion and Mama Lily Java. They have changed my life. No, 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 no. They didn't. They gave me life. In 2018 of January, Prophet Passion had his first prophetic night on a Thursday night like this. What was it? 2018. And I remember I had a bowl cut. <laughs> I never wore a suit before that in my life. I was making below minimum wage, beneath, <laughs> below. I was doing my taxes that year and the lady said, how do you survive being married? I was broke, had no life. I had a dream one night, I went to sleep and Prophet Passion appears to me, I've never met him before puts his arm around me and now I'm you know you have to understand I'm praying to find out if I should go to this church and God sends prophet passion in my dream he puts his arm around me and we walk together the peace the peace that I had and I woke up like that I can express to you I don't have words to express the peace I felt when I woke up, I woke up with peace. And the Lord spoke to me to say, this is your spiritual father. Now, God had to give me that dream. He couldn't speak to somebody to tell me that word. Because he had to personally speak to me that this is your spiritual father. Because he knew that there will be people that will be sent to me to say, get out of that church, run. And whenever someone looks at me and tells me, you shouldn't go there. So don't speak to me. Speak to the one who gave me the dream. Amen. Hallelujah. You can doubt a word from a man. But you can't doubt a word from God. Oh, I decree, decree and declare that today you shall receive a word from God. Mm. Mm. I'm excited. I feel the anointing. I feel the presence of God. As you remain standing, I want you to... Open your Bibles. I feel the anointing too much. Uh, I, I know there's a bomb that's about to just go off. Isaiah chapter number 32. Verse number 2. 
Can I have somebody to read? Matalama sombra kaji talamando. A man will be as a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. A man Amen. is a shadow. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word, and I pray that tonight your presence will begin to express itself in any way it chooses. Oh God, I pray that from this moment, your people will receive the very word that you will speak through me. Oh God, if I speak something of incorrect English, I pray that your people will receive it by the Spirit of God. I thank you for what you are about to do. I thank you for what you have done. And I thank you for the things we haven't yet seen. Mm, the things you've been working behind the scenes that we haven't seen. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for removing that person out of our life that we thought we needed. Thank you for removing those people and the people you're going to remove. Oh God, I thank you for your presence in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen amen hallelujah when you take your seats i remember in 2018 the first time i came to prophet passion how could i say this i didn't know anything yet i knew i thought i knew everything he invited me to his house and i came to his house imagine you get invited by the prophet to his house and you only met him one time I came to his house and the thoughts that ran through my mind was do I knock on the door or does he know I'm gonna be there why does he have a doorbell if he's a prophet <laughs> you know it's realistic right how many of you just have these thoughts they're funny you just have this mentality that like, hey, he's so sharp in the prophetic. He knows everything. And I start laughing thinking, he knows I'm thinking these things. <laughs> you know, it's just funny. But um, I came to his house and the very first time he goes live and he says, I want you to go live on my platform and just teach and heal the sick. And you're going to prophesy what people's pains are and what they had and how long they've had them. I said, huh? How? He said, you have it. Just do it. I said, how? He said, just go live. He clicks live. I'm sitting there by myself. <laughs> like deer in headlights. One thing is teaching in front of prophet. Another thing is in front of a camera. Another thing is you see comments. And another thing you see your bowl cut. That was bad. I don't ever want to watch that video. I don't recommend you look for it either. Uh, you know, God had to take my life, expose myself to myself, put me down, and lift me back up. You may have seen me preaching on this stage before and some of you you've probably never seen me preach here before right wave, wave your hand if you've never seen me minister or preach on this stage ha i got i got all right there was a time i used to preach here in 2018 when the the floors were red we had pews like benches you couldn't sit there for an, over 30 minutes your back starts hurting that's why we had healing services all the time Oh, God is good. There was no stage like this. It was a small square and it ended right here. It was old. We used to go live with cell phones and these tripods that are always broken. We were serving. I remember before this building, we were down the street. And on that street, I can't explain to you. This side of the church couldn't fit in it. It was a small building. We were like this, sardines. It was so hot. No AC could fix that problem. 
too many people praising God caused too much heat. We couldn't fit in there. It was just too much. But the anointing kept you coming. There was people outside, rain or shine, listening to the words that are coming from the prophet. I, I just knew that, okay, if I go and serve, I'll be able to be inside. So I started serving. <laughs> Holding a camera, you get closer. It's a trick for somebody. Some tips. What gets you closer is serving. <laughs> Prophet Passion. Ah, Papa. I'm really good with media. Can I travel with you and do your social media? Sure, my son. Come with me to, to, to Europe, to Africa. Come with me to London. I began traveling with the prophet using a camera. I have no idea what I'm doing. Most of the time, he's prophesying, my camera's here, and my eyes are looking. It was too much. It took time for me just to kind of get used to in a sense to what's about to happen all right the times we were stuck in this building it was an experience but uh, a lot of people came and they left because they didn't see anything that was there that what it could become a lot of times people will come because they see the lights the fancy stage the fancy things but the people that were there since the beginning, they know the, the tough times. They know the times it was crammed. It wasn't comfortable. We were challenged. We, were, we went through prophetic schools. We went through different things, and we didn't know what was going to happen next. Some of us, we sold everything we had to follow Prophet Bashan, to serve the prophet, to be in a place just to grow in the prophetic one man asked me, how can you prophesy like that? How does God use you that way? I, my response was, how many cars did you give? How many times did you remove your watch? How many times did you give something that was valued to you? If you want something, do something to get that thing. <laughs> Go very deep into your pocket and give that thing. Oh, God is good. Uh, you know... I came in as an evangelist. Actually, I didn't have that title of evangelist when I came. And I began to watch the prophet and thinking, all I can see myself doing is healing the sick on the streets. That's all I'm good at. That's all I do. I go and pray for people, look for someone to pray for. And I asked prophet, or he asked me, what do you want God to do for you? I said, I just want to heal the sick. That's all I want. Everybody else was saying, I want the prophetic I want to have a double portion. I want to prophesy. My request was, I don't even want this prophetic thing. I don't even know what it is. I'd never heard of a prophet like that that's real today. So I said, I just want to heal the sick. He gives me his platform to do live streams. He says, from today, your shadow will heal the sick. My shadow... Why? Shadow? Nah. He said, no, you'll heal the sick with your shadow. At will. You choose to do it, you'll do it. Because you've been serving, God spoke to me to release that upon your life, and you shall now heal the sick. Oh. Uh, tonight you shall be healed. No laying on of hands. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're about to witness a miracle. You're about to witness a miracle. Look at your other neighbor. Tell that neighbor you're looking at one. Hallelujah, church. The title of my message today is, You're in the shadows, but God still sees you. 
You're in the shadows, but God still sees you. From 2018, I was in the shadows. Didn't think that God could use me. But today, you shall see how God uses someone that's been in the shadows. Now, I give glory to God for every person that gets healed and every person that receives a prophetic word that is accurate. But you have to understand certain things about miracles and healing. Now, healing, the Bible says some gave, he gave some gifts and those gifts were gift of working of miracles. There was a gift of healings, right? Multiple gifts there. And then you have the gift of working of miracles, right? You have to what? Work the miracle. So sometimes you'll hear us say, I was praying for someone and this and this happened. We're not saying it's out of our power, but what we are saying is someone had to work that miracle. And tonight you shall see miracles being worked. Hallelujah. The shadow is a working of a miracle. Uh, I don't know if I'm here. I don't know if you're here, but there's about to be a miracle in your life. Uh, you know, it's easy, right? You know, for your pain to leave, it's not hard. Tonight is the last night in your bodies. Amen. I will see. Psalms chapter number 91, verse number one. It's going to be fire in here in just about a few minutes. Psalms chapter number 91, verse number one. Who can read? He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now understand the very verse we first read was, I was saying, or the scripture says that you are a shadow. And the Bible also says, he who abides under the shadow of the Almighty. Let me get something straight here. How can you be under the shadow of the Almighty God if he himself is light? May I, get, may I have somebody up here? Or if you can bring the the stuff you have to understand for God or for you to abide under a shadow it means that there has to be something between you and God am I making sense yes. now this right here is a tree of course but I'm going to use this as an example this is the object in which will cause a shadow to be on the floor. The word says that he who abides under the shadow, God is not an object. You can't be under the shadow of God if God is light. So who is the shadow is my question. And who that shadow is determines where you're going. Because a shadow is actually a representation of what's to come or a representation of what you see the outline on the floor is exactly copy of this tree. So if you're under a shadow, I wish I had somebody here. They'll turn the lights on. Don't worry. You, you see the shadow, right? It's almost a mirror, but it's not a mirror you'll see that the exact object here is now portrayed on the floor the way it's shaped. So when you're under prophet passion, your form might not be the same yet, but eventually your form will become the same because what you're trying to do is you're trying to imitate him as he is imitating. I wish I had somebody here. The Bible says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Why didn't he just say, imitate Christ? Here's the way. Just look that way. He said, imitate me now as I imitate Christ. So imitation hmm, is the shadow. It's the key. For your growth imitation is the key for you to be successful how can you follow a man you don't see
but you understand that Christ is in us the hope of glory so check this out the shadow has many meanings a shadow can speak of time right if you turn the other light on you'll find a shadow that shadow right here now remove the lights and you have the sun right this back in the day you'll find that wherever the sun was will determine what time it was according to the shadow so the shadow is speaks of time now whenever you're under a shadow just means it just means that your time is coming you're at the right place at the right time for, especially for those of you that are serving, holding cameras, ushering, any person that's serving in the house, just know that you're under the shadow. You're at the right place at the right time. God is going to use you before you know it. Just hold on tight because it's a move about to happen in your lives. Now understand something here. Uh, there are multiple meanings of a shadow and I want to go through some of them and then we'll continue with what you're about to see. Uh, a shadow by definition you'll find that it's a shade that ca it's caused by interception of light. An image cast by an object and representing the form of that object. My definition of a shadow would be anytime you go under a shadow it's for you to cool down <sighs> it's hot outside <sighs> it's so hot let me remove my jacket it's hot outside so what do you do you remove your jacket it's still too hot so you go under the tree where there is shade so anytime you need to cool down, go under the shadow. Go into the presence of God. You might be a little heated in your relationship with your husband, your wife. You might have some arguments and you're mad at work. Just go under the shadow of the Almighty. Just go and rest in the presence of God. It will cool you off, I promise. <laughs> You'll cool down immediately. Just step out and begin to pray. Oh God, I can't handle that person. You begin to speak in tongues and all of a sudden, your spirit begins to wake up and you'd be like, forget that person. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, uh, I would say this as well. Remember Jonah. Jonah was supposed to go and give a prophecy. He gives the prophecy. The people don't really, the people accept the prophecy. He gets in his mood where he just needs to cool down. He goes and the Bible says he went and sat under a tree just to cool down. Now, what you do with the object that's giving you peace or cooling you off determines where you're going. It's hot. I need to cool down. This man was mad. If you check, he was not in the mood. Jonah. <laughs> this object, he treated it for shade. But remember Zacchaeus in the New Testament. Zacchaeus climbed up a tree to get the presence of God. To get the presence of Jesus. To get the attention of Jesus. What you do with the object determines whether or not Jesus will appear in your life. What you do with this event, tree, with this... Pr pr what you do with the object God gives you to be under, the person that... I don't know if you're catching what I'm saying. We're catching it. You can have a prophet, but if you just go there just to hang out and hide from your enemies, you won't receive anything. 
climb up the tree and get the attention of God. Hallelujah. The tree is not there for just to be there. It's for you to use the tree. God sent prophet passion to you for you to be pros prosperous. God sent evangelist Tim for you to be healed. You can sit back, relax, and cool down and just be here because you don't want to be with your chin, with your, um, with your husband. <laughs> some of you come to church not to come to church. You come to church to hide from some people and cool off. <laughs> I don't want to go there. I want to go there. <laughs> now, when I was in school... In high school, back in the day, we can have the lights back on for a minute. When I was in school, there would be this German guy that would come, this boy. They would, what's the word? He would fly into America, and he'll be a student, and that student will be following someone for them to learn from that person they're walking with. What do you call that person, the German that's following the American. A shadow. You're shadowing someone. A shadow will tell you where you're going. If you're shadowing an American, it shows that you're going to be in America one day. If you're shadowing a prophet, it shows that one day you shall be you'll be a prophet you might not have been born a prophet but because you're under one by default you shall be a prophet i receive i wasn't born a prophet but i can prophesy can i prophesy <laughs> the shadow is following the german is following the american because one day that german is gonna live here so he's just gonna copy imitate exactly how he walks talks breathes eats everything so he can study the culture and the language so that he doesn't make mistakes while he's out there by himself that's a shadow it's a shadow of what's to come the apostles were speaking in tongues in the old in the new testament acts right those tongues that came upon them you'll find there was different languages that they were speaking. I believe it was nine or 12 different tongues that were mentioned in that Acts. But you'll find that those very tongues that they were speaking was a shadow of where God was about to send them. I, I wish I had somebody here. May you speak tongues of angels so that you may see angels glory be to jesus mm, glory be to jesus a shadow a shadow who's mary jesus who is Mary? She's my mother. Prophesy! Prophesy! I see you sitting in the front there. Amen. Prophesy. And as you are listening to this word, go deep. I saw an angel being sent to Mary. Amen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I don't know if she needs healing, but I saw this angel healing her body. Amen! There's a Amen. touch from heaven that's about to happen Amen. in her life. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord Thank told me Jesus. to tell you, tell Mary Amen. that it's her time for healing. Amen. And I'm also seeing a broken heart. Amen. Prophesy. I don't know if there is a person that you know called like Will or Willie or something like that. Willie or something. Willie. Willie. Because I saw like a broken heart. Amen. Go deep. Zoom. Do you know anyone called Carolyn? Carol, Carolyn. That's Carolyn? your aunt. Yes. 
Yes, I know Carolyn. Who is Carolyn? She's my aunt. Hey, come. Prophesy! La brosata la masa balakija la mando. I wasn't done preaching, but let me just prophesy. I, uh, it was your aunt, right? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Carolyn is your aunt. Yes. I saw a broken heart yes. that needs healing. Yes. Now, this Carolyn I'm seeing, I don't know if it's because of this relationship issue, but I'm seeing a heart that was broken, and I saw God mending the pieces back together. Amen. The Lord told me that this very day is her day for healing. Amen. God is going to restore her life and you shall come with a testimony, says the Spirit of the Amen. living God. Amen. You also shall come with a testimony Amen. on Carolyn. And the, the Willie will come to you. But for Willie, I'm seeing this person having an issue with, uh, how do I say it? Somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy! It's like back and forth with the presence of God. It's like he's in it, then he's out. He's in it, then he's out. It'll come Prophesy. to you. It'll come to you later. You'll run and be like, "Oh, is my William, my, my William Willie? William Willie? Who is Willie? Willie is my uncle Willie. Your uncle Willie. Uncle Willie. Yes. Uncle Prophesy. Willie. There yes. is like this. Prophesy. Relationship with God needs prayer. You need to pray for him. Amen. Because I see him getting very close with God in the near future. Amen. But it's requiring Amen. of your prayers. Amen. Pray for Willie. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for Willie. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy. Let me let me keep teaching now. Amen. Let me keep teaching. What you do with what God gives you determines where you're going. Now, if you don't have a, uh, what do you call this, revelation of what you are, it's going to take time for you to know where you're going. Uh, what do I mean by that? If you don't know you're called to be an evangelist, it'll be very hard for you to step out and go to the streets. If you don't know you're a prophet, you will never know why you're currently broke. Oh, believe in the prophets and you shall. Why are you not prospering? Maybe because you're a prophet in the making. You will never know you're an apostle until you realize why people around you are always so angry. It's like every time you step into work, your boss is going at you. He's screaming at you. It's like a demon is manifesting every time you... Anywhere you're going, someone's manifesting. You didn't know you were an apostle. Some of you, you, you're not good with people. You'll never know you're a teacher. But you love being on the phone. You love talking to people, just one-on-one, -on -one, helping them for hours, teaching them what you know. You don't know you're a teacher. Just look around you. What's happening around you? How many of you have seen angels before? You, you know, for me, I didn't understand that I was seeing angels until I was learning what angels are. Because not every angel appears to you with six-pack like Am I making sense here? Yeah. Not every angel appears like that. Sometimes they appear like a flash in the peripheral. In the peripheral. Peripheral vision. Sometimes you'll see angel here only. Where's, uh, where's Apostle Micah? Your circumstances around you reveals to you sometimes who you are. It might tell you where you're going. It's a shadow of things to come. Mm -hmm. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. 
It's time. Stand up. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Walk with me. Let go. You're healed. Come. You're healed. You're healed. You are healed. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, grab her stick. Grab her stick. She forgot her stick. She's healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, it's only a shadow. Come, come, come. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. You are healed in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Somebody shout praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Say for cancer. Say for cancer. Hey. Free from cancer. Hallelujah. Rabba shatala mandola musa kabatala da diate. Look at that. No more, no more stick needed. No more cane needed. In the name of Jesus. Come, 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 come. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you're not, you're not praising Jesus. Hallelujah. That's a miracle. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you're not praising him. Hallelujah. As you praise him, you're being healed right now. Hallelujah. As you're praising him, you're being healed. Hallelujah. Oh, Sharabasata Rabo Sata Lamande Libia Sea Baitija Makaza Lamando. Be healed, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Woman of God. You knew I was coming. Come here. Prophesy. Somebody shall prophesy. 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 I saw you here when I came here at three o'clock. Who's born in March? Your grandson. You've been praying for your grandson. When I came here, don't worry about your grandson now. You know when you were vacuuming the floor, yes, yes, yes. you were praying, yes. you were praying in tongues, yes. you were just praying. Yes. What God was doing was healing your grandson, bringing him to him. Hallelujah! She was here before 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., vacuuming the floors. Vacuuming the floors. What do you want God to do for you? Raton de la Masse. It's your time. Because what I'm seeing right here, I'm seeing pink on you. I'm yes. seeing yellow on you. Yes. Do you know the combination of pink and yellow is a prophetic healing ministry? Jesus, amen, 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 amen. What you're wearing is a shadow of what's going to happen. Amen. You're going to heal the sick. Amen. The pink, you're going to prophesy. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is saying, your request has been granted. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch. From today, you shall come with testimonies of healing, healing, prophecy, healing. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shall prophesy. 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 
Somebody shall prophesy in the house. Prophesy. Come on, somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy. Who's the one with the headache right now? Who's the one with the headache? You have a headache. Come here. It's bothering me. It's like he's annoying. I was about to prophesy someone else. <laughs> this headache, I want you to count to three. Let's say one, one two, two, three. Uh, take a deep breath. You're healed. You're healed. You are healed. Touch. <laughs> Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. As I was in prayer here around 3.30, I saw Micah was serving in the back, the Apostle Micah. And I saw you quickly run like usual. You know, my Apostle's running all the time, all the time, yeah, right? He, he ran past. The moment I looked, I was taken back because I saw you running with your boy. Amen. I was like, did I just see what I saw? It was in the peripheral hey, of my vision. Prophesy. And I saw God is good. Hey, Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord says it is done. This shall be a testimony. Yeah. Pastor Wallace. There's somebody here. It's like you're pregnant. It's like, I don't know, four or five months or something. You need to come up. You're pregnant. Somebody's Prophesy. pregnant. Prophesy. Come here. Somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy. You're pregnant. Amen. Come on, look at the way you're clapping your hands. Jesus. There is a prophetic assignment that you're carrying. And the Lord told me to tell you, you are carrying the prophetic. This child you're carrying shall speak. And what this child speaks shall surely come to pass. Raise this child in the word. Don't be afraid with this one. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Any news that they try to tell you, don't listen to it. Listen to what God is saying. Have you ever had a miscarriage in the past? 
you shall not have one. Amen. You will not miscarry. Amen. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. that there shall be a prophet in her house. Amen. The presence of God is here. Oh, the presence of God is here. Mm -hmm. You have anything that you would like to share? I have a problem with my husband. Is he here? Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know anyone that like drives or something? I don't know if it's for trucks or taxi or something like that. Uber. No, his sister. His sister. What I'm seeing is this person driving, and that person is not happy with you. Yeah, that's true. Hmm? That's true. Prophesy. True. Prophesy. Come on, prophesy. And this person is close with your husband, and they talk. Yes. Prophesy. She influences him. I decree and I declare. Yes. In 90 days, hey. you shall come here with your husband. Hallelujah. 90 days. I feel the anointing. 90 days, you shall come with a testimony. I decree and I declare. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Whenever God wants to do something, He'll do it. Now, sometimes, pastors will preach something and I don't agree with it. Because I see people healed on a daily basis. And for a pastor to tell me something about healing when they don't do it, we don't, we're not really friends there. We don't understand each other. God heals seasonally, some pastors will say. Seasonally. What happens if it's not season? Sorry, I'm closed. Is that what God says? I'm closed. It's not the season. Hmm. There's some things that pastors will say that doesn't really make sense to me. I'm not attacking pastors or the pastoral office by any means. But stay in your lane. If God decides to heal you, He decides to heal you. But some pastors will preach that God will heal anyone and everyone. But in Scripture, some people had to beg Jesus for healing. And He said no. Mm -mm. Then it says, then they begged Him earnestly. So the first time, they asked Him. They begged Him. Then it says, they begged Him earnestly. Please heal this person this person built us a synagogue a place of prayer heal him you know what he said okay i'll do it <laughs> because of what you did i shall heal you here come the attacks i just did myself bad but it's the word please go and heal this woman she made uh, clothes. She was a sewer. She sewed clothing. 
So Peter took the clothes, knelt on it, prayed. Miracle happened. Person was resurrected. The person was working for the house of God. You can clap better than that. Hallelujah. We like to say healing is the children's bread. We like to quote it, right? Healing is the children's bread. Even breadcrumbs fall. And the dogs, they eat it from the master's table, right? This person was saying... Can I just have the breadcrumbs? I will be full with breadcrumbs. Whatever you give me, I'll be full. If I give you five pieces of rice right now, will you be full? It means you're not desperate for food. It means you're not desperate for a miracle. I'm willing to be satisfied if I just have some crumbs from the table. This person wasn't supposed to receive healing. They had to beg for healing. Please, I'll even eat the crumbs. That I'll act like a dog if that's what it takes. How desperate and how satisfied you will you be with the little that God gives you? Sometimes God doesn't give you the tree. He gives you the seed. And I'll tell you this. A watermelon seed does not look like a watermelon and it doesn't look like kool-aid it doesn't look like the juice watermelon juice it doesn't look like it a mango seed doesn't look like a mango but what a watermelon seed can give you is an entire watermelon you may not be a millionaire yet Look at your neighbor and say, yet. 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 Something yet. is about yet. to happen in your life. Hey, I receive. What you have is a seed, but what you're about to have is millions. What God has placed in your spirit, it doesn't look like the full picture yet. I'm not a prophet yet. I haven't prophesied I haven't healed the sick. Yes. Mm. I don't have a billion in my bank account yet. But what I have, it's a seed. It's a seed. And what you do with that seed, do you understand that your tears are the things that's watering that seed? The tears you've been crying is watering what God has given you. Oh, you don't know me. You don't know where I came from. Can I be vulnerable for one second? Oh, yes. There was a time Prophet Passion told me, you're going to want to give up. I'm like, me? <laughs> Out of all people, impossible. I told him, you're prophesying the wrong Tim. There must be another one. I can't want to give up. You know what happened? COVID-19 hit. Lockdown. I couldn't go anywhere. I wanted to give up. <laughs> Two months later. <laughs> Do you know just three days ago, I wanted to quit? Jesus. Three. Three. When you feel like you want to quit, just know the platform is waiting for you. Hallelujah! Oh, somebody shout the name of Jesus. Jesus! When it feels like everyone's going against you and talking about you, and the pressure's too much, there's a platform waiting for you. That new job's are right around the corner. Jesus. That breakthrough's right there. 
Just know you've stepped into it. Your tears are watering your seed. Amen. Your tears, they water your seed. They bring speed in your growth. I wish I had somebody here. here. And I want you to now begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Golden Telemina, Sipa Tolemino, Tempro Sekli, Dongo Sabro, Riteni Prato Sige, Rodina Mandra, Kalia Pola, Semia Kotele Mendele Dia Tesa. Lift up your voice and pray. Rokoma Serebe Alabashana Maya Reke. Sefito pila mi sami, se pancha la magina mi dodo. Iga deso daya dianta nadia. Winda pendo la mi dobro sikla dida. Se mi sinta insoga yega ya goda goda. Menda leba lida ika donen treni. Sefita proske liga da. Sele meto la mi na mapaya. Sele meto la mi na mi paya. Let me yes so pay an emigrino. Your pato, your pita, not manja, your top brusa. Lime gwen to look up to the bugega. Send penton and misai pontana. Yes, Lord. Ba 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 yeso. Libra satala manso. Father, I thank you for the angels that are in this house. I thank you for the move that's about to happen. I thank you for the healings that are about to take place, the miracles. Oh, shatala manse. Biyama. Ma 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 yeso. Oh, shataka basate. Oh, shabataya. Marunda manase yate. Miato. Miato, begin to pray. Mia ba 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 yes so. Ratos katalamase. Pray, somebody pray. Trene kudem broste kidem brate kidem frete stai. Wina mosto kontos. Aaka. Demi kudem trene mi proste le mende le diate. Prosto venti ta kousha. Semi pomburu du buru du buru dia katele mende le diate. Zima kodi atala manken debian station. Bika atala masonda la masi. Isendrana kida. Pronto no mo kodi jene me pere dia katele mende le diate. Di makli debio station. Kuda bride. Mende le di bili dia. There is a move that's about to take place. Jesus. Any pains that you were born with, they're going to disappear. Hallelujah. I receive. Psoriasis shall disappear. I receive. Back pain shall leave. I receive. Issue with bleeding is going to stop today. I receive. Any issues with your stomach, with digestive issues, Hallelujah. they're going to be healed. Any issues with dizziness, hey. you may be watching online, you're being healed immediately. I receive. 
You're going to testify. I receive. Oh, Shatalamase. Understand this. Last year, around this time, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. And there was a girl that I prayed for. She was pregnant. And she looked like she was about to give birth. Like she was that, you know, she was ready. She was eight, nine months. I looked at her and the Lord told me to pray for her. The only reason why that I sent you is to pray for her. So I looked at her. She was in the very back. I said, lady, the Lord is telling me he's healing your child. She broke down weeping. Jesus. She said, this is my third service today. God told me to come here. I'm tired, but God put it in my heart to come. I didn't know you were preaching. I said, God is telling me to tell you this child shall be healed today. Jesus. Hallelujah. She begins to cry even more. I said, why are you crying? She said, it's because the doctors told me that I have to come tomorrow to remove the child. I said, no. The doctor said, tomorrow, God says on your due date. Hey! Hallelujah! Hey! She had about a little less than one month left. They said the head's too small. There's blood clots in the baby. They're thinking the baby will come out not normal. You know what happened? The presence of God was in that room like it is right now. Jesus. The next day she went to her appointment. They checked the baby. The size of the baby's head was normal. Jesus. Jesus. The blood clots were, were normal. They were Jesus. gone. Jesus. Hallelujah. If God can heal somebody in Atlanta, he can heal you. Hey. Yeah. If God can heal then, he can heal you now. Receive. Hey, the anointing is in the house. What's going to happen is if you need healing, we're going to make a line and you're going to pass the shadow. They laid their sick beds in front of Apostle just in case maybe his shadow might touch them so that they may be healed. Tonight, you shall have faith. Not in me, not in my shadow, but in God. This shall be like an act of faith. As you pass, something will happen. Some of you, you will be delivered from demons. Hallelujah. Some of you, you'll be delivered from anything that's been happening in your life. Some of you, instantly, the pains will leave your body. And I guarantee you, there shall be testimonies today. Hey, I receive it. Today, there shall be testimonies. I receive. And I want to begin you with a brown. Come. I want you to now step here. I want everybody to pray in tongues now. I want you to move. I want you to move. You are healed. You are healed.
Somebody shout hallelujah. If you have pain, you have pain, and you're ready to receive healing, I want you to come here. Which one of you has that issue with your back? It was her. Come here. You'll be first to receive that healing. As you walk, You're healed. Test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Come here. How do you feel? It's gone. Hey! You're not praising me. You're praising Jesus. Somebody shout for Jesus. Hallelujah. What's about to happen here? Some of you, you won't be able to stand. Some of you, you're going to be immediately healed. And then we're going to testify. If you receive your healing passing by here, Remain there. Pastor Wallace will, ha will be testifying while people are going past, all right? Let's go. Begin to lift up your voice and pray. Begin to lift up your voice and pray. Touch! Test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Raida Soch, Raida Bashataya, Lava Shatala Rahaya. thing right there you don't have to wear it Libra Sato La Monda I want you to walk oh you're not praising him you're not praising him Mic her up. Come, look at me. What happened? It doesn't hurt at all. There's no pain. Hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hey! As you praise him, you shall also be healed. to wear it. 
hear this again. Hallelujah. Nobody. Be good now. Yeah. Be good. Pain is gone. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. side of your yeah. does it ever affect your hearing sometimes it, rings. sometimes it rings this whole side is no more pain, yeah, no more pain. somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> the pain is gone the pain is gone hey hallelujah. touch
Testimony, Pastor. Yes, sir. So when I first came in, there's been waves of sicknesses just in my house over and over. Jesus. And they've been, my children and I have been suffering from really bad headaches. And then I started praying a lot. And then I started losing my voice. And my chest started to hurt, and I would cough every single time I started praying. Just like mucus coming up over and over, and I kept going and kept going and kept doing it. And then I would just get something new every single time. And when I came in, I barely had a voice. It kept creaking and stuff like that. But afterwards, my throat doesn't hurt. My chest doesn't hurt. Nothing hurt. Hey! Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Healed. Testify. So the doctor said that I have osteoarthritis. So when I came in at first, my ankles were so swollen and I had pain in my lower back, but I chose to worship regardless. So when I got on there, you were standing right there and as you had your hand over my, I don't know what you were doing. So, so hold on. You, you're saying that the doctor said that you had arthritis. Osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. Jesus. What does that cause? So it caused swelling in the joints. Pain. Does it cause pain? pain. Yeah, it's very painful at times. And what happened? So as you, I think you were waving your hand because mm. my eyes was closed. But you were waving your hands and I felt the warmth. Just, it came all over my body. Jesus. And he shifted me and then threw me into the corner. Jesus. But now there's no pain in my ankles nor my lower back. Nothing. Do something that you couldn't do before. Uh, hey! Uh, hey! Look at that. Hey! Uh, do something again that you couldn't do before. Uh, no come pain. on, do something that you couldn't do before. Jesus, hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus in the house. Oh 
There's another testimony here. Testify what God has done for you. You know, I always have this pain uh, in both of my knees. I, I'm bow-legged, but I walk like an 80-year-old woman. I'm not. <laughs> but, you know, I've had this pain, but my left knee is like somebody's tying when I want to jump and praise Jesus. God. When you say you always had this pain, for how long? Long, long, long time. Uh, Mike. Mike. My left knee. Sorry? My left, no, my left knee. How long? Uh, over six years, I would say. My left knee. I, I, I'm a, some person who used to run sprints and run. Oh. I'll be walking because of the pain. And how was it? Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> It's gone, Papa God, thank you. It? It's gone, thank you, Jesus. Oh, it? It's gone, Jesus. Somebody I, shout you. hallelujah. We have another testimony here. Jesus. Testify. So I woke up this morning and there was a pain underneath my left arm. Uh -huh. And it just felt like every time I tried to sneeze, like my heart was getting ready to like explode. Jesus. So when I walked past and you waved over the left side, like I felt, felt healing. You felt healed. No more pain. Felt healed. No more pain. There's no more pain. Jesus. There's no more pain. You're not praising. No more pain. Hey. No more pain. hear the church praying. I don't hear you praying. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Pray. Somebody pray. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Somebody lift your voice and pray. Rain. 
We have a testimony here. What's the testimony? Testify now. Cameras. Come on now. So I've been suffering with sickle cell disease for 33 years. Wait. Say that one more time. You were. Come on now. You were. I was suffering from sickle cell disease. What is that? Um, it's a hereditary blood disorder. So. Incurable. Yeah. And how do you feel? Um, I feel amazing. I came in with lower back pain. Yeah. Hallelujah! Hold on. You haven't, he you haven't heard the best part yet. Listen. Can we have everybody stand up on your feet? This is an incurable disease. I pray you'll have energy in your legs to remain standing for this one. What happened? So I came all the way from Jersey. Um, I felt I was in the Amtrak and I was talking to God and I felt like God told me to come here. So I came here. I had lower back pain. I stood, I worshiped God. I just continued to worship God. My hands were swelling. Now there are no swelling in my hands. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, look at the way you're celebrating Jesus. Hallelujah. Swelling disappeared. Hallelujah. Huh. What can you say about this Jesus? He just does things that amazes me. Like when you don't expect God to just intervene and just happen. She, she also came with a back pain. Huh. And the moment she passed by you, by your shadow, the back pain went. Jesus! Uh, hallelujah! I pray you'll never get used to miracles. Because it's going to keep happening. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are angels in this house.
Check your body, you're healed. You're healed. There's an internal healing taking place as well. Inside. I want you to lift up your hands. Lift your hands all over the house. Touch. We give God the glory for the miracles that are happening. Let's go. Be healed. Come. Pass by. Healed. Touch. Fire the Holy Ghost. Come. Touch. Healed. Fire the Holy Ghost. Be healed. It is done. We have a testimony. Testify? Tell us another testimony. testimony. Wait, 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 wait. Are y'all ready to go home or no! are you all excited? Yeah. May God use you as well. I receive. This week. I receive. What's happening? What's the testimony? Well, I've been having this pain for maybe two weeks from in my hip. Uh -huh. And just this week, my me and my husband, uh, we were walking and he said, what's going on? You, you've been shining me or something because I've been turning, sleeping with my back to him. Mm. So, <laughs> so, of course, I'm, it's gone. So I might get something tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah! We have another testimony. Healed. Testify. Touch. Check your ankle. Check. Move it. Take your shoes off. You're healed. What's happening? So this whole week, I haven't been able to sleep. I twist and turn every night. I probably got about two to three hours of sleep each night. My back has been killing me. But as soon as I stepped, like, right here, I didn't feel any pain anymore. Hallelujah. You didn't what? I didn't feel any pain anymore. You didn't what? I didn't feel any pain anymore. You didn't what? I didn't feel any pain anymore. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain. Touch. Healed. Receive it. Touch. Go. testimony here what's the testimony testify testify now hallelujah 
I was dealing with the um, osteoarthritis as well, uh -huh. and it's been since 2014. Jesus. And I uh, could not stand for long periods of time and can wear certain shoes. And I actually, um, they say when you get a prophecy for one person, it's for everyone. Absolutely. Man. So, hallelujah. I heard the young lady here. So I got in the line, and when I went up there, um, and I felt the shadow, and when I fell, I was still trying to get up. Oh. But I could not get up. I just saw lights. Jesus. And when I got up, I felt so drunk. But when I got right there, I didn't feel any pain. No more pain. Oh. You didn't what? I didn't feel no pain. You didn't what? No pain. No pain. No pain. Hallelujah. No pain. Somebody praise Jesus. Hallelujah. No more pain. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody lift your voice in the house. Give him the highest praise. watching now. Your mom is watching now. I want you to, I want you to blink. The pain in your eye is being healed right now. Just begin blinking. That issue with the eye, fully healed. You shall testify online. She'll come to church and she'll testify. Somebody shout hallelujah. There is another testimony. Oh boy. Listen to this. Testify. All right. Um, so I came up for my mom, but I also was feeling a little congested and I woke up with a scratchy throat. But as I came down, I can breathe like. So let's, let's slow down a little. <laughs> so she's here. Her mother is not here. All right. She is in Atlanta. Uh -huh. So she came to represent her mom. And what happened? And as I came down, I was also congested, but as I came down, I can breathe through my nose without like having to go. <gasps> so I can like breathe through my nose. So she couldn't breathe all day today through her, through her nose. And she came to pray for her and mom. And she came for, to represent her mom. Jesus. And God healed her. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's true. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. This is crazy. Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Touch! Heal! Touch! Fire of the Holy Ghost! Touch! Heal! We have another testimony. Testify! Are you ready? This shadow thing is real. <laughs> much so y'all um, believe now yeah. new rule one so. second every time somebody testifies i want you to throw up your hands and praise him yeah. amen all right testify um so i got in line for my friend but while i was in my seat i felt a random pain like you right here came in line for a friend a friend not even for yourself yeah for a friend all right but i had a random pain right here it came out of nowhere mm. so i walked past the shadow and I went to go back to my seat. And when I went, I couldn't even make it all the way to my seat. And I'm like, hold on, can't shit tell that about? And my neighbor was like, I don't even think you're going to make it back to your seat. You got to go back up there. So the shadow, I can move my shoulder. The shadow. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and shout hallelujah all over the house. Touch. Touch. We have another 
another testimony Touch. here. Uh, Listen to this one. All right. Okay, I, I've been forklifting for 17 years. Jesus. At Frito Lay. Okay, I've been in several um, accidents where my neck's been hurt, my back, and with my knees, both of them being on a forklift turn and doing this, you, you, my legs feel like mummy. And, uh, oh! Come on, lift your hands and praise him. Somebody, show Somebody praise him. I need I currently am in transition I'm gonna be buying a house Amen. Amen. and this house you know I'm in an apartment right now and I have this small like storage room and I just keep all these things Amen. <laughs> so I'm getting a house so that I can have a bigger room come on, Jesus. Come on. To store hearing aids, hey, to Jesus. store these ones, canes, wheelchairs. Uh, I thought somebody would run and sew something. Jesus. What's happening? That's the sign now. All right, so I haven't been able to sleep in uh, two days. Uh, I have uh, restless, uh, it's called restless leg syndrome, but I get it in my hands. So, um, you know, I, I said, uh, I, my daughter, I prayed for her that she'd receive her healing, um, and uh, I, she received her healing, and then as I walked up and as I uh, stepped down there, all of a sudden the ache stopped in my hands, and I don't normally have the ache in, in the daytime. It only All of a sudden, what happened? It went away. Oh. It's gone. I'm healed. Thank you. Hallelujah! God is Thank good. You. Thank you. God is good. God is good. God is good. Touch. Libra Satalamaso. We have another testimony. Ah, what's the testimony? I had injured my back about two months ago, and um, I was having pain um, down my leg and then my foot. Especially when I get up, um, I've never had any type of pain in my body like that. I, um, since high school, uh, my body has felt the same way. No, Jesus. No issues. So um, I don't feel it. It's, it's, um, no more pain. Hallelujah. 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 Crazy. Listen, there are people that are watching online. I know there's people testifying. I don't see it, but I know there's testimonies being written. Amen. May God make you whole, and I pray if you didn't receive your healing, receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understand something. Whenever there are miracles taking place, this is what I do as a healing evangelist, all right? Every time I witness a miracle, Prophet EJ, or if it's Prophet Passion, or Prophet Lovi, or Prophet is, uh, Lily, or anyone I immediately sow because what you're sowing into is what you one day receive Amen. the ground that the person is is what you're sowing to we were made out of the dust of the the ground I'm a walking ground prophet passion is a walking ground Every person that you see healing the sick or prophesying and you want to do it one day, take a seat and sow it while it's happening. The presence of God is there. Sow into it. One day you've been praying you want this in your house so that people get healed when you pray for them. Hallelujah. Take something and give. Sow into the man of God. I don't have to convince you. 
I don't need the money, but you need to be the one that gives. And I want everyone to take out a seed. Take out an offering. Say, I want to sow into this grace. I want to operate like this. I want to do that. I want to heal the sick. I want to give into the house. I want to further the kingdom of God in this area. Just a thank you, God, for doing what you've done today. For, for allowing me to see something that I've only read about in Scripture. That I've never witnessed any other person do. Thank you, Jesus. At, at least a thanksgiving offering for God. For the church. Think of something you can do for God. Take the best you can give. Hold it in your right hand. If you already gave it, lift up your right hand anyway. I'm going to pray and release a word. Every person that was healed today, I don't even know how many people, how many was that? A lot. A lot and a half. A lot and a half. Hold that seed. There was someone that testified recently, you sir. I don't know why I'm seeing you and I'm seeing a whole bunch of numbers in business. And I'm seeing like... You need a breakthrough in a way, like a bigger one. And it's almost like it's not going to happen, but I want to speak that word. <laughs> hey Amen. Um, uh, I'm actually the owner of two businesses. Jesus. And um, uh, my entire family have been under attack. Uh, We're in our seventh year. <laughs> um, the Lord has uh, shown me uh, the demons, gave me names, even showed my daughter, my wife. All my children, we've dreamed and, and seen it. It's attacked my cousins. And, um, you know, when I discovered this ministry, I stayed online. I go to sleep to it. I listen to uh, the ministry throughout the day. Jesus. Is it your first time? Uh, this is my first time here. In person. Jesus. And, um, you know, I've, I've been asking, I said, Lord, you know, this is uh, all in your hands and all in your time. I, I didn't speak the businesses. You spoke them. Absolutely. I just walked through. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't expect that uh, all the things that I would experience. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it got so bad that uh, I had to stop going to church, but because of uh, what was happening uh, in which the pastors were being adulterated. 95% um, of the people in my life have been removed. Jesus. But it's by the grace of God. And I'm thankful because um, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, I want to come to another level. Absolutely. And um, I am prophetic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I quickly learned that... Um, you know, anybody boasting <laughs> about uh, being prophetic, you know, uh, it's very challenging. And uh, what God has done through all the pain and the suffering mm -hmm. is raise me and my family up. And tonight is the first night in, gosh, months that I've been in a church. Wow. And you were healed. And I've been healed. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I pray. You're a God of restoration. Amen. Amen. We thank you for those who you have removed that were against him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. As you've done for Job, you gave him, you took away, then you multiplied. May Amen. multiplication come to you. Nothing shall stop you from this very day. Yes. I'm seeing your finances being restored. Amen. I'm Amen. seeing your family being restored. Amen. Things that were taken from yes. you by the devil shall be restored. Amen. Seven times. Amen. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Jesus.
Maya Basa, to hold your offering in your right hand. Father, I pray as you're standing, every person that has their offering to give right now, online or in person, as they're sowing into your work, multiply in their lives. If they're sowing to be used by you, we can't pay for it, oh God, but we can sow into it so that it can continue to happen. We thank you for every person that's willing to support your kingdom. Every person that wants to be used by you. Every person that was healed. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your compassion towards us. And I just want to say thank you, Lord, for the testimonies that took place. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be blessed financially, may you be blessed physically and spiritually. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout. Run to the altar and give the best you can. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. You can come and give. You can come and touch your phone on the altar. If you've been giving online, come and give. Hallelujah. No more shackles. No more bondage, no more shame, no more shackles, I am free, yeah. So we say, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. As you have given, as you have sown, may God bless you. We thank you for joining us tonight for our prophetic service. Make sure, Ahava women, that you join us this week, Saturday, for our worship night together and our Sunday morning service. Please, if you would like to connect with us, go to our guest relations table. Anyone interested in serving in the house, if you would like to be on our worship team, we are holding special auditions. We would love for you to register at our guest relations table. And please continue to share your testimonies with each other. Visit our store on the way out, and God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your night. You can't fake power. Ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, you shall be my witnesses in California, Atlanta, New York City, Texas, everywhere around America. Catch the fire. Catch the fire. There's an angel moving here. One power.
whole Jalahate. Lord, touch your people for revival. And release revival fire.